thing to do this weekend. Comedian Mitch Fatal is performing at the Laugh Factory, and we have him here with us. Good yes. morning. Thank you for joining us. Are you lucky I'm here? We're, I mean, yeah. Of course we're lucky. Yeah. We're so lucky to have you. I was so happy, and I was almost late, and I almost didn't get to come on the show, and that would have really upset me because I like your show. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, and we so. all like your show. Tell us about uh, what's happening this weekend. Okay, so I'm doing... Uh, Three shows now at the Tropicana uh, Comedy... No, no, it used to be the Comedy Stop. It's now the Laugh Factory. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I used to work in the old days. And uh, I'm hysterically funny. Perfect. And if you want to laugh, you should come out. And uh, if you don't want to laugh, then, you know, go see... Uh, go to Brad Garrett's Comedy Club. <laughs> oh, throw in some shade. That's all right. Uh, you're not the only comedian who's performing, though, this weekend, is that... No, no, there's another comedian named Brian Scalero, who's actually a wonderful act. Uh, Frank Del Pizzo is the opener, and also the late shows are Andrew Dice Clay, if you remember Andrew Dice Clay. I do. Okay, so uh, you've got a whole packed show this weekend. Yes. And three shows. Three and shows. And still tickets, tickets still available? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I sell pretty well, because I've done pretty well for <laughs> myself. But yeah, we, there's always tickets. We can always fit people in. It's Vegas, you know. Right, yeah. and you, you have, you've been around for a while. Tell us a little bit about uh, your career up to this point. My career up to this point has been very interesting. I, uh, I started out as a Howard Stern intern. Wow. Yeah, I always wanted to be in comedy, and uh, Howard Stern was a big, I was a big fan of his, and I got a internship working for him, and I thought he would tell me how funny I was and say, you're going to be obviously a famous stand-up comedian. Right, you got your career laid out for you right then. And the first day he met me on the air, he said, uh, you realize you, you, you have to be funny to be a comedian, right? And I said, but I'm funny. He was like, I don't think you're funny. I don't think you're going to make it. And uh, that was my introduction to show business. <laughs> and then 15 years later, after I did my first Letterman, I went back on his show and he told me he was proud of me. Oh. So that was my kind of moment, since my dad doesn't really care what I do, it was kind of my father figure moment. Okay, so... Um so your shows are this weekend, and um, still tickets available, and we're going to put all that information on our website, ktnb.com. Awesome. All right, yeah. thank you You're so much. You're going to come to the show, right? Absolutely. Now, yeah. Absolutely. And we'll talk about Britney Spears and Amanda Bynes. And Syracuse. That's what we were talking about before. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Thank you.